Hello guys and welcome back to Ted's Pass Brothers. For the first time in a long, long time you're actually seeing us talk in front of a camera. So, uh, this is because we sadly haven't recorded day three, day four, or day five. So, uh, for that, we're just going to talk about what we did. And, yeah, so, should I start first? Um, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, fine. So we'll be doing one day each, um, based on what we did. So day three was actually a uh, quite intense day because um, in Castle de Fels, um, where we're staying, we were very fortunate to be a beach, which is 15 minutes away from uh, Barcelona Tennis Academy. So we ran there from the gym and we did an hour of intense but quite fun uh, exercise on the beach. So a lot of hurdles. Um, running and sprints, um, you'll probably see some photos of Alexis. Um, we've got some good action shots to be fair. Um, we had two hours of tennis, uh, so some of the drills we did was so there was two players together uh, and then one by themselves, and the two could only hit cross court and the one could hit down the line. So we did that drill for 10 minutes, um, so non stop without hardly a rest, so the coach was always feeding it in uh, when the point was finished. So obviously about the 8th, 9th, 10th minute that was very tough because it was non-stop moving the direction. Um, Can I add it? Yeah. Okay, so the main target and the main objective of this drill was to actually keep consistent uh, direction of the shot because the two people uh, that were on the same side, they had to hit cross court and the other one had to hit down the line. So the one on the end was always under pressure because Luis had to run side on. So uh, they had to slow down their pace, being more controlling instead of trying to finish the point. Um, so yeah, you carry on. Okay, so and then the other court was the drill where one person had to hit slices, the other person on the other end had to like attack and go forwards and build off the slice. Um, so that's very beneficial, uh, especially for uh, match play, um, so like going forward and maybe to go to the net and do some uh, volley. Uh, anything you'd like to add on that, Alexis? I'm not sure if you were on the right lines. I think um, it was to improve the defending and the attacking. So if your game style is more attacking based, they would force you to defend more by slicing, hitting more topspin and having more height in the shot compared to the attacking side where if they're bad at defending or attacking sorry they would have to go for it more and put the opponent under pressure. Uh, another drill we did uh, later on was where you had uh, like a cone, uh, like a little box type of thing and we had about five minutes to hit cross court and see how many balls you get in a row inside that box. So it's kind of like an original drill, just working on consistency and also depth because obviously you don't want your balls to go short because in a match, well, your opponent can just finish it. So it's, it could be a good tool to have the same consistent shot. Afternoon, there's always match plays, so from two to four. So we normally play about one set and then if we still got time, just rotate court, so winners on the top court and then losers go down. Um, so we did that, I ended up meeting Alexis. <laughs> day four, yep. for day four it was on court training to start with, like in the gym. We were just doing loads of fitness exercise, no, loads of speed and agility um, with the cones, yep. going inside the cone, outside the cone, uh, side shuffles. All sorts of drills. There, there is no photos actually. That's a shame. We don't have any photos or anything like that. But it was very intense. We had to do that for the first hour. Um, after that, we just got hitting pretty much. It's more open base today uh, since it was pretty much the second to last day. We did feed cross, back cross. And we kind of just let it go, play out the point. The other court was where it was just four shots down the middle, and then on the fifth shot, it was just completely open, and then uh, the point was free. Okay, so day five, um, two of the players were training on the hard court for preparation for tournament. So there was three players left, so there was five of us in the group. 
uh, which is quite nice, not too many players. Um, so there's more heating than open, so that's pretty decent. And as it was the last day, uh, we did a bit of like doubles and some games. Um, we did a game that me and Alexis play quite a lot. Dingles, so it's where one point is down the line and then one point is cross court. Where both players, they both play in the rally at the same time. And then if one person makes a mistake, then it becomes a doubles point. And then to win the point, uh, you have to win the, both the single and the doubles point. So that was first to ten, so that was pretty fun. And then um, after that, uh, we did this drill where there's four players on the court, uh, obviously like doubles, <laughs> and then um, you always rotate after the point. So uh, if I was at the back, and, I, um, and even if I won or lost the point, then I moved to the net, the net player would move um, to, to the back, and then right. the back would play to the net. And then you just keep rotating. Basically, to improve your double skills, you have to the person that met ideally the main target was to for them to intercept eventually, find a, a gap to win the point, and instead of just rallying cross court at all times. Uh, so points were incredibly fast. You have to be quick with your reactions with your, with your feet as well. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed that video uh, and enjoyed the drills that we were doing and us explaining our day. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share to your friends and press that bell button to not miss any other videos.